Hello, my earth signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a new moon reading for my earth signs. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it resonate too. I appreciate you, tribe. We are at 1K, and I am doing a giveaway. I have posted. I saved the best for last today for my earth signs. I'm just joking with y'all. I love all you guys the same, but, you know, somebody got to be special and got to be saved for last, right? So... Today's your day. You're special, boo. So, for my earth signs, <laughs> if it does not resonate, I apologize. You can check other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below per usual. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? I know my lips are, like, kind of chap right now, but I don't feel like getting up. So, we're just going to be dried and fried and dyed. All right? Before we get started, let me protect my energy. Send back the sender. Send back the sender. Whatever negative energy is trying to attack me. Okay, guys, I feel like you guys are heavy on the protection right now. Um, there's spiritual attacks going on. There's people who is portraying to be people that they're not. There's people who are trying to uh, prevent people from elevating. So they're like telling them false information. Okay, people are being misled. Okay, I'm also getting there's devil is wearing a smile. Okay, I see you. Okay, so somebody is pulling a you on you or like they're trying to. Okay. So this could be somebody who was a shapeshifter. I have get back to your roots. So you could have been slacking on your routine. Spirits would say, I, 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 after the new moon, get yourself in a spiritual bath. Cleanse your energy and get back to work. Okay, you have uh, money showers here. So I feel like there's money. I'm hearing money fall on you. My money fall on you. I think that's what he says. So I feel like there's going to be money falling on you. Okay, you're going to be like getting a shock amount of money what else spirit some ancestor money yep money overflow okay somebody want to put a ring on it okay yeah you're definitely getting some money some you yeah dora the explorer so something that you're exploring or you're, you're becoming more um exp like open-minded I'm also getting you like you're learning a lot of things or you're seeing things from like different point of views. I see two, two, two. So yeah, you're on the right path if you've been feeling like you're not. But like stop slacking. Like that's what I'm getting. Like stop doubting yourself because I have beauty was their name. So you could be very attractive. Somebody feel like you're very beautiful. Somebody feel like you're the epitome of beauty or of attractiveness if you're a divine masculine. I feel like um somebody is definitely awed by you. Like somebody keeps staring at you. That's the energy I'm getting. Like somebody is trying to hold in how they feel about you, but somebody's about to explode. Like somebody want to let you know, like, listen, I want to marry you. Like your wifey type. Like, <laughs> yeah. The boy and girl. Like they already claiming you. Like somebody could already be in love with you. I feel like also like exes are going to try to come back because they they realize that they love you or that you're the one but i feel like it's just too late like i'm hearing a little too late and i can't wait little jojo a uh, little too late all the right things to say because you know it's just a little too late but somebody's already claiming you you could be um getting people that's fighting over you or like they know that they're competing for your attention because they know that you you get a lot of attention okay i feel like you are uh everybody's dream like i'm hearing that song by raw wave no you're just too good for me i've been listening to that all week you do good to me yeah Beep is nice please god please god me like this person has to pray to like stop thinking about you okay like, somebody fucked up with you. But I'm also getting, like, these are new suitors as well. Like, I'm getting all eyes on you. Like, period. Yeah, earth signs. Can't make this stuff up. I told you. Like, that's definitely you. You could be getting a lot of downloads right now. Okay, you are a sex symbol. Period. You are a sex symbol. Like, that should be the title because that's definitely what that is. You're a sex symbol right now. Like, you're coming off as mysterious, very attractive. Like, people don't know much about you. You don't say much. It's because it's like you feel like you're learning how to reserve your energy. You're like, I'm not fucking with you. Like, I'm not letting everybody know what I got going on. I ain't letting nobody know what's all in my pot. So, it's kind of like make your own gumbo. Like, that's period. Like, you ain't getting my recipe. So, I do see here... Where you got like you you the sauce like you got the juice okay you the goat 
all right? I'm also getting like, don't be jealous of other people's success because I feel like somebody, I remember when somebody commented on my earth sign and it was like, I feel like this is just a Capricorn reading. First of all, no. There's more than one person watching this. So there could be a somebody who has heavy Capricorn that needed that attention, but don't feel like it's not for you because I'm not praising you every five minutes. And that's not what I'm doing when I speak about Capricorn. I'm just saying like somebody a Capricorn in the damn reading. So I feel like it's kind of like, don't take everything personal at this time. Like don't get in your feelings. Like, but I feel like you're starting to learn that you're coming out of the thought of like everything revolves around you. You're learning like everything don't revolves around you. Okay. You could have been like the only child or maybe just had a bratty mind. But I feel like now you're becoming more mature and it's like, okay, everybody else has problems too. Okay, you got fire in your chart. I have a nitro passions. It could be in your Venus. You could have a fire uh, sign in your Venus. I just seen 606. So I feel like you're coming out of a um, bad situation. I'm also feeling like, or a bad like a bad time, like depression. That's what I'm getting as well. So now you're igniting your passion. Something that has ignited you. It could have been like a prayer or like um a mentor. This could also be a um a deceased person, a deceased divine masculine. Okay. This could have been somebody who was gay. Um, because I'm like, that's the energy I'm getting who has like feminine in it in their energy. It could be a cancer, but I have high priests here and ten and create. This could be a priest. Like, somebody is definitely helping you. It says, broken arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. So, I feel like you're not used to peace. But spirit is trying to teach you the meaning of life is peace. Okay? I'm also getting, like, something to do with a bird. And I'm also getting, like, a monkey rich. So, somebody has to, like, don't clog up your toilet. But I'm also getting, like, somebody wants to be a maintenance person. Or somebody could be a maintenance person. Somebody could be working at Walmart. Or somebody could be, um... They do something with their hands, like construction, okay? This could be a person that you're talking to, okay? Or maybe you're looking for a handyman. Like, you wish that somebody was, like, able to fix up around your house and take out the trash. I just saw 727. So, that's a soulmate energy coming in. Yeah, surround yourself with protective energy. This is heavy on the peace. So I feel like there's a lot of negativity around you or maybe you need to protect yourself from negativity or your own negative thoughts as well. I also feel like uh, people could be trying to project on you. So just be mindful of the people that you're interacting with. I have magic, a guardian, unlock the magic within. Somebody's definitely helping you. This could be a divine feminine as well helping you. This could be an auntie or like a sister or somebody who was like a sister to you this could be a best friend who is helping you okay this could be somebody an uh, ancestor or somebody in real life who could be like girl you know get up my like, or you know homeboy i don't know how god has talked but you know what i'm saying it's kind of like that energy like somebody's motivating you and trying to push you and you could be doing that for them as well okay i'm getting like it could be a motivational group Okay, you're trying to get out of depression, 828, because you're trying to find your abundance. Somebody's getting a new job after the new moon, okay, or a new pay raise. Somebody is, like, looking at you at work and, like, okay, I want them to be a manager. So, you could be getting a new position. I have the Four of Pentacles with the Six of Cups here. So, you are holding on to the past, okay? I feel like this is what's bringing negativity in. It's maybe because, like, it's either, like, a person or a situation. Like, you need to let go of the past, uh, whatever it pertains to you, okay? <clears throat> yeah, the King of Pentacles. This could also be like, uh, you could have like daddy issues as well. Yeah, that's the energy I'm getting, like daddy issues. Okay, but I do see somebody coming in to help you. I told you, Justice, somebody's coming in to help you, balance you out. This uh, to your yang. That's the energy I'm getting as well. I'm also getting like um somebody's gonna be opening up your heart chakra. Something about a boat. Somebody gonna own a boat or somebody has like somebody wanna go on a trip with you because like you're a sex symbol. So you have a lot of people who wanna like take care of you, but you don't see this because you're holding on to the past. It's kind of like you have to open up your eyes to new things after the new move. So if you've been manifesting a person, this person can come in. But spirits is like letting you know, like, hold up, bro. Like, you got to let go of the past first. So I feel like um, this is what they're trying to emphasize. So because they're like giving you a heads up, like, let go of this first. 
okay? I feel like they're saying, like, you have the potential and the power to become what you want to become because I feel like you want to be an inspiration to people. But it's, like, hard for you because you feel like you don't have that inspiration for yourself, but you do. So I feel like it's a lot of, like, reflecting you need to do, like, sit down and reflect, um, how far you come because maybe because you because you're becoming like a business person this could be like a business or a job and you feel like you haven't made it far enough but you have made it far in your life you know it's kind of like spirits is saying you just got to look back and appreciate the small steps of how you got here like for instance it took me like a whole year honestly to get to uh 1k and i was kind of discouraged i was just like oh well you know, this taking me forever, but Spirit was like, no, the turtle wins the race. So I feel like it's patience. It's going to pay off. It's like slow and steady, like a slow cooker. Like it's, it tastes better. You know what I'm saying? Like you could taste all the flavors. So I feel like every step of the way, there's a meaning to something. So you have to realize like your life is not going in vain. These are lessons and that's supposed to make you stronger. Okay. Yeah. The King of Cups. People are coming out of the woodworks to come talk to you. You're definitely a sex symbol. Somebody likes your body. They like the way your skin complexion is. They like the way you smooth. Okay, they can't stop looking at your face. <clears throat> it's like you're, you embody every woman that they imagine. It's kind of like you coming off as a mystery. You're coming off as this person who is very intelligent, beautiful, sexy. Like you're wrapped all in one. Yeah, the judgment card. You're heaven sent. <laughs> you have a lot of suitors with the seven of cups here. They're saying which one you want. <laughs> okay, Spirit, can you tell me four? Four of Wands. You could have, like, um, got disappointed by, like, a situation with someone. And I feel like you're kind of like, I don't want to go through that again. But Spirit is saying, this is a second chance for you because this one is going to be actually real love. Okay, you missed the mark last time, but that's okay because... You did it from the kindness of your heart. Your intentions were pure, regardless of their actions. You get what I'm saying with the Queen of Wands here and the Four of Wands? I feel like you about to glow up on these motherfuckers. Like, I feel like you're about to glow up on these motherfuckers. Even if you are in a new relationship, like this could already happen. You are already with someone who is proving to you that you are the one, two, and the motherfucking three. Okay, but I feel like somebody definitely want to take you home and, like, put you up put you up in a house with the ten of pentacles this person could be like big boss energy like that's the energy i'm getting like this could be more than one person who got their shit together and they find you like a sex symbol queen of wands you on fire like they they want you okay some of them is for good intentions some of them are not but i feel like one of them is sticking out to me i just don't yeah i told you somebody want a family with you I feel like you're just tired. Spirits is saying, don't give up because money is about to rain on you. Yeah, but I told you, Nine of Pentacles, don't give up. Be patient. Six of Pentacles is almost here. They got a gift for you. This could also be spiritual gifts. You could be getting more powers. Okay, but there's a lesson you need to learn. I'm also getting like, there's patience. Like, don't rush your spiritual journey. I don't feel like you have to be ahead of people. Okay, or like, this is somebody who feel like this towards you. Like, they feel like they got to be ahead of you. Because I don't feel like this is your energy. Like, I feel like somebody feel like they got to be ahead of you. But really, the turtle wins the race. You about to get more than what you bargained for. You about to get the six of pentacles. They gonna be the ten of swords. Okay, they rush themselves into a mouse trap. Okay, somebody definitely rushed their because they was in competition with you for no reason. It's kind of like they were trying to compete with you instead of join you. And here you are like la -da, la -da, la la la. Focus on your money. Focus on yourself. And I feel like somebody is definitely trying to i'll beat you but you in your own lane you could be a virgo okay somebody or a capricorn but somebody's about to be um a star like you're about to somebody's definitely trying to stop that okay somebody's in secret competition somebody could be trying to like uh i want to say poisoning you but they could be like trying to poison your mind or try to speak negativity or project that on you because when i was speaking prior it felt like your energy but really it's them because you could be hanging out with this person i feel like you have to remove this person energy because somebody's definitely trying to play mind control on you i'm also getting like somebody knows that you are in dire like you're about to be successful and you're coming to a lover like a lover is coming in and i feel like they trying to stop that because they can't have it with the seven of swords okay so they're mad if they can't have it you know this could be an aquarius 
somebody you just stop talking to honestly i feel like now they just want what you have okay they could be really salty that you stop talking to them and they're trying to wonder like are you one up in them like they could be watching you grow and they're not okay protect your energy protect your energy okay i'm gonna be pulling one card I have unrequited love and trust. So if you feel like you're chasing somebody or you try to force a situation, cut dead that, okay? I feel like that's not the one I'm talking about. If they're giving you unrequited love, is there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Then I have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, but I feel like you can't trust this person because they're not giving you the same exact love that you're giving them. I also have you deserve love. So you deserve real love, so don't feel bad, okay? Don't settle for less. I feel like you're about to find a past life relationship, so it's about to be love at first sight. You can know this person from the past life. Just get to know them. I feel like you uh, get to know them, yep. I feel like it's going to pay off, and then you want to get to know that person and realize, like, oh, wow, I met you in the past life. Like, that's the energy I'm getting as well. But I feel like money about to fall on you, like, period. Like, you're about to get good news, like I said in the last video. All right. So don't keep on fighting the good fight. Don't give up because it's going to pay off. Hard work is going to pay off. All right, guys. Until next time. Love you.